Hey guys, we are at Mahabalipuram in India and let's take a look at this mysterious giant rock called Krishna's Butterball. The specialty of this rock is that it stands on an extremely small base, less than two square feet area, on a slippery hill. Just imagine what would happen if you place a ball on a slope. It would roll down right away, but this rock has been in place for at least 1200 years. This granite rock is over 20 feet tall and weighs over 250 tons. With its width almost equal to its height, it looks like a sphere in some angles, but it's not a perfect sphere. You can see a lot of people sitting under it, which gives you an idea of how big it is. Many people think of this rock as a natural formation. However, such a natural formation is impossible because there is no way it would have come to this shape by erosion, flowing water, or blowing wind. You can see that the rest of the area is a smooth hill and is devoid of any other large rocks. So if it's not a natural formation, who could have put it here? Even in modern days, moving a 250 ton rock uphill would be a very difficult task and require complex equipment like cranes. How was it done 1200 years ago? The base of the rock is somehow firmly glued to the hill below. In fact, in 1908, Ardur Lali, who was the governor of Madras, thought that this rock was too dangerous and would slide off the hill any time. So he ordered that the rock be pushed down. Seven elephants were used in tandem to push the rock down. But the rock didn't even move an inch. The governor finally gave up on this impossible task. We know that an elephant can push or pull six tons. That's a pushing power of 42 tons for seven elephants and the butterball perched on a two square feet base did not even move. Is it clamped underneath? Is there something hidden underneath? Now, here's the more interesting question. If it was impossible to push this rock downhill, how was it pushed uphill? If it's humanly impossible now, we are left to think about if it was done by humans at all. Could this technical superiority have come from extraterrestrials? Let's take a look at how the rock stands on the hill. The point of contact is less than two square feet. Even a layman knows that a wide base is important for a structure to last longer. How does a 250 ton rock stand on less than two square feet base? Just imagine if you would be able to construct a three story building with no foundation on a slope and with a base of two square feet. Even though this rock is popularly known as Krishna's Butterball, this was not the original name of the rock. The original name of this rock is Van Iraikal, which roughly translates to the stone of the sky god. Who is this sky god who put this giant rock? Notice how there are no carvings whatsoever on this rock. In fact, this is the only structure in Mahabalipuram which has no carvings at all. It is said that the Pallava king Narasimha Verman gave specific orders that the rock of the sky god should never be touched by sculptors. So the rock must have been there even before the Pallava king Narasimha Verman who ruled in 7th century AD. It's important to understand about the slippery hill on which the rock stands. This hill looks like it is 30 feet tall. This is not the original height of the hill because the land level here keeps rising. The sand gets washed in from the nearby sea all the time. This is a picture of a ramp nearby which is less than 5 feet now. Just 10 years ago, this ramp was over 15 feet high and kids used it as a slide. This hill is slowly being buried 
at the rate of one foot every year. Now imagine how tall this hill would have been 1200 years ago. It would have been a very tall mountain over 1000 feet high. How is this monstrous rock placed on such a high altitude? If you compare this rock with other ancient structures, it's bigger and heavier than the monolithic stones of Ollante Tambo, Peru. No matter who plays Krishna's butterball here, it will be a reminder that our understanding of history is incomplete. I hope you like this video and please do let me know what you think. Whether you agree with me or not, your comment is very valuable and a lot more of videos about mysterious places are coming up. So please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching and talk to you soon.